Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. I'm doing the exposés now that I have some more time. This guy here is Riyaz Zahid. He lives in the Bay Point, California area. He was on Megan's Law as a sexual predator. And Hurum Shah exonerated him. So let me get into the story. So before I get into that, uh, he's a weirdo. Always seemed a little weird to us. Um, and remember, the Ahmadiyya Jamaat, if you're a rapist, they will defend you. Hurum Shah was ready to kill his family for this Ahmadiyya movement. Literally. Easy. You know, I wouldn't even have to ask him twice. So here's the story. <laughs> so this guy, Chris Komari, Chris Komari saw he broke the story. 2007, 2008, he tells the Jamaat, maybe 2006, Navid Ashraf, who's a local Jamaat president, this guy's on Megan's Law, man. What are you going to do? What's going on? Why is this guy on Megan's Law? Can somebody question him? What is this about? Naveed Ashraf blows it off. He's like, I don't care. He's a good MD. Why would he go tell on a good MD? Why would he get a good MD in trouble? Why? He never would. So Naveed Ashraf says he wrote a letter to headquarters. And I'm not a part of this. They don't, I don't even know. I'm boo boo the fool. Call me whatever. I don't know what. I'm busy. I'm in college. I have a little kid at home. I'm busy. I don't know what these guys are up to. So around 2008, 2009, I start to hear about it. I start to hear there's this guy. He was on Megan's Law. And I'm like, well, why is he coming to the masjid then? How does this make any sense? Why are they letting this guy come to our masjid? Who's confirmed to be on Megan's Law. And then I went and read it. So apparently, he was sexually annoying teenagers. What does that mean? What did he do? What? How, how do you even get that charge and go to court? And do you even get jail time? I have no idea. So, and the reason I brought this up because there's that sexual abuse issue in Dallas, Texas area with the Amdia community. So, Hurum becomes president via coup d'etat in 2010. I think the end of 2009. And this is what he wanted his whole life. He wanted to be the Jamaican president, right? So he does it via coup d'etat. He didn't win no election. So he becomes Jamaican president. First thing he does, he exonerates this guy. And why does he exonerate him? Because he likes him. He's like, he's a dedicated Amity. I want to exonerate him. Quirum is here to help Amity's. Quirum's here to uh, look at Damon Stengel. He's still an atheist. He prays with heavy metal. He's into transgendered men. Hurum supports him. Hurum will cover up his sins. Hurum will lie about it. Easy. Easy. Not a big deal to him. And you know who, who this guy's friend was? Wakar Ahmed Bajwa. I did an expose on that. They were best friends. So what were they doing secretly? They, they were boyfriends. Boyfriend, girlfriend. This is the kind of stuff that these guys are running. So Hurum exonerates him. Somehow, I didn't bring, I, I think I was just around him and he said, hey man, I spoke to Riaz. Riaz said it was a misunderstanding. He was breaking up a fight and he sexually touched some teenagers and they accused him of it. What? Really? Really? This is the story that you came to, bro? That's sick, man, that you twisted it that much for this guy. Sickness. He can't break up a fight. This guy's never been in a fight. If you watch him walk, he's got no aggression in him at all. He was probably saying things to teenagers. He was walking into his store that he worked at. Sexually explicit things to teenagers. High school kids. Sexually annoying them. And he's letting, them, letting this guy come to the mustard and be around children. Doesn't have a problem with it. Craziness. So there's he says the Nazm. You guys want to hear his Nazm? All right, check this out. Okay. <laughs> 
By the way, those weird nuzzles used to make me sick. And he's the singer. He's the main singer. So, uh, yeah, man. Oh, it sure does. It sure does. So that's all I got. Quick videos, brother. That's all. Peace. Assalamu alaikum and peace out.